Hello, my name is BJ from Envy, and this is Tyler T. Tuckered Teddy. He's one of my patterns. You'll find my patterns on BJ from Envy, blogspot.com. My patterns are also on Ravelry. And I have a shop on Etsy, E T S Y dot com. And the thing about Tyler and my patterns is the fact they're all knit in the round. They're all knit on double pointed needles, and uh, none his ears, legs, body were all picked up. They weren't sewn on. They were picked up and knit out. And that's important when it comes to toys for children. So today, I want to clear up a mystery about picking up stitches in the middle of your work. Uh, I've looked all over the internet. I can't find anything. So. It's not difficult, it's not a mystery, working in the round is not that hard, it's just if you haven't, it's like anything, if you haven't done it before, when you first do it, it seems a little awkward and a little clumsy, but believe me, practice makes perfect, and it doesn't take that much practice. So when you're picking up stitches, the number one rule, number one rule, always pick up in a circular motion, okay? Now, if I was going to pick up to put a body, like for Tyler, you know, you would pick up around here. If you were going to make for a, a toy that's setting, you would give him a neck here. If you were going to pick up stitches for ears, you would pick him up here. All right? Just for this, we're going to pick up uh, 20 stitches in a square. All right? So I've made this head. It's actually a head. But anyway you can see your stitches. Okay, so what you're going to do, and I always use crochet hook, you're going to go in and under that one bar, skip the next bar, go into the next, skip the next bar. See, that would have been wrong. Because the thing is, once you get them onto the needle, you can tell if they're right or not because of the spacing. If there, it was like jammed together, you know, you didn't skip one. If there's a gap, it means you, you went too far. Okay, so let's get started here. All right. Again, in a circular, we're going to pick up 20 stitches, you know, well, say approximately. We're going to start right here anyway. So take your yarn and just pull it through. There you go. Okay, there's number one. Number two. Oops. Get your yarn up. I'm a little long-winded, so I'm going to try to move this along. But, like I said before, I just don't want this mystery to go on any longer. It's just too much fun, and I want to share it with you. So take your needles. Okay, this is size H crochet hook. This is size 8 needle. They are the same, and that is important. Okay. So there's five. Now we're going to go. We're making a square. Say so maybe we're putting a leg on or something. Of course, it would be pretty. Well, anyway. So right here and you see that's one two three four and five I keep my voice up here and that tends to fade in and out all right Load your needle. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
Moving on. This is number one. This is number two. Working clockwise. And we're going to keep this line going right here. One. Two. I just love using crochet hook. I just can't tell you. It speeds it up. It makes it so much simpler. Four. And five. There we go. Slide it down there. Get your needle. Load it up. One, two, three, four, and five. And the thing about picking up for toys especially is if your project turns out to be a favorite of that child, He's going to live with that thing day and night. You're going to have trouble even watching it. So you really don't want the ears or the legs falling off if you can help it. Just makes the toy so much more sturdy. And I tell you what, if you have not made a toy, you got to give it a try. You're just not going to believe how much fun it is. All right. And there's 20 stitches picked up in a square. Now, was that so difficult? I don't think so. If you're like me, I don't care for seams. Just don't care for them. And I'm always talking about tie your knot, tie it in a knot. It makes a good firm start. And let me tell you, nobody's going to see that knot anyway. Okay. I want to do just a little more here because I'm all, also I'm always talking about on your first row is be careful not to twist your stitches because you've picked up these stitches you need to pick them up on this side not here you'll do that after you've completed the first round second round yes first round no so you're going to go in on this side and just simply knit them off And like I said, the first couple of rows might seem a little clumsy, but once you get the hang of it, smooth sailing after that. And just put this guy down under, again, on the edge of this side, and continue on. Does that really look so hard? Does it really? I don't think so. Whoops. Look at that. That's called a drop stitch. And I guess I'll show you how you pick up a drop stitch. Just like that. Making sure it's not twisted. All right. So you would just, again, and then just, you know, just keep going around. And, of course, when you reach that last needle, which you can tell it is because it's tied here, don't forget to put your stitch marker on. Otherwise, you will not know where the beginning and the end of your row is. And that is called picking up stitches in the middle of your project. Stop by my blog spot. Check out my Etsy store. Thank you.